What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Batman and Robin issue number three, written by Joshua Williamson with art uh, and colors by Simone DeMeo. This one takes place after the previous two issues. We have Bruce and Damien as the dynamic duo doing their thing and they're trying to rescue the White Rabbit uh, from Arkham Tower, Arkham, whatever, Blackgate, whatever prison you want to call it. And um, they're trying to capture the White Rabbit who is currently being targeted by Shush and the Animal Trio, if you will. And that's kind of like what happens throughout the most of this issue. Bruce confronts Shush. He's like, where's Tommy? Where's uh, Hush and all that? Because, you know, there's got to be some sort of connection there. But she doesn't really, like, tell him what's going on. He also mentions that how he was poisoned with something, and she apparently has the antidote. And she's like, hey, if you let me kill the White Rabbit, the cure is yours. But this is Batman. He's not going to allow somebody to kind of get killed. So it's off to them to rescue the White Rabbit from these criminals. And Damien's doing his thing. Uh, Bruce is doing his thing, stopping bombs and all that. Uh, we get some good action in here. Bruce mentions, hey, I'm going off against these things. I need you to go back to school. And Damien's like, I did that. I went to school for like an hour. Um, I was made fun of, bullied by jocks, met the cold principal and a moody teacher. I got the whole high school experience, which was a pretty funny line. So, and he also mentions, if you can give me a good reason to go back to school, I will. If not, uh, you do your thing. I'm going to go after the terrible trio. And Bruce is left thinking, hmm, okay. Well, I got to think of a reason then. So, I mean, Damien's eventually going to go back to school. We kind of know this. Um, but he needs a good reason to do so, and Bruce is going to have to come up with that. So, I like that angle because, again, Damien is smarter than pretty much everyone at that school. Uh, also, I think the villain Shush is probably Damien's old, like, teacher that we saw earlier on and he's probably she's probably the uh principal or one of the teachers at his high school that's gonna be my guessing i mean you kind of look at the the mouth and the facial expression right there that teacher or principal or whatever and it's kind of very similar to what we already see with shush right here so um that's my theory so i'm gonna roll with that it just seems kind of obvious with the art style um the art by simone de Mayo, it's a lot better than it was i think in the first two issues i think this is the strongest it's look whether it's the colors and that there's a little bit more expressiveness within the facial uh features yeah there still is that issue of kind of a little bit of it, it's clearer to follow than the previous two issues but there still is sometimes that busyness with the art that makes it a little bit harder to dictate what's going on unless you kind of like look at it a few times but again i think the stylized nature of it i think the colors and that i think this is the strongest looking comic book uh of the three issues so far again it's mostly action focused bruce is off he kind of rescues white rabbit shush kind of disappears damien t uh finds the doctor he's been looking for the one who they're using for their little experiments going on here and he sees that he's been poisoned and then as he's trying to get him to safety uh some man bat like creature comes in there uh to kind of like go after Damien. That's kind of where the issue ends right there. So Damien's going to face off against the dark man bat. Uh, is this going to be, it's definitely not his father. I think it's probably someone else. Um, but again, it's Damien versus man bat. So a lot of animal hybrid focused, uh, human animal, like hybrid creations within this, uh, first couple issues so far. So, uh, what do I like about this issue? Like I said, I like the Simone de Mayo art. Uh, I do like the moment with Damien telling his dad, look, if you can give me a good reason to go back to school, I'll do it, but as it stands, I'm just not going to. Uh, I got the whole experience, people are a-holes, which, you know, it, it's high school. Uh, there's a lot of a-holes there, but there's a lot of benefits uh, to it, too, in terms of, like, making friends and interacting with people, getting a sense of, like, the common everyday folk and that. So I like those elements to it. Uh, White Rabbit there, um, not too much progress, I suppose, in terms of, like, the story going forward. Again, it's more of an action focused issue but the little small character moments like that are the bits i enjoyed the most uh do i still like this as much as i did uh josh's like robin run no not quite as much as that but i am enjoying batman and robin i mean batman's written to be a little bit more competent here he's a little bit more calm collective we don't have the mind control possessed stuff with zurana or the arzen or anything like that i mean the story is moving at a bit of a quicker pace which i do appreciate because a lot of the other batman focused storylines have been kind of dragging or going through some other nonsense this is pretty straightforward simple to follow uh rescue someone deal with bad guys and uh kind of father and son uh little character moments like that sprinkled in without the first three issues so in terms of the main ongoing batman books set in present day now i need to emphasize set in present day i suppose because like world's finest is set in the past this is the best of the three uh, it's better than detective comics it's better than the main batman book by a lot um so i am enjoying batman and robin like i said it's a fun comic so far um 
not too much in terms of plot revelations, I guess, in this issue. Like I said, it's more action-focused. Uh, it does move at a quick pace. I mean, that's the thing with most of Williamson's comic books, if you read them, like, you, you read them really fast. They, they, they move at super quick pace. Maybe it's because of, like, his work on The Flash Raider gets so many issues out, but his comic books, like, they, they're, they're a quick read. It doesn't take too long to kind of, like, power through them, because a lot of it is told through the visuals in terms of its story with the action and that, too, and the dialogue's only really there when it feels kind of necessary there is a reliance on the art to kind of uh fill in the gaps if you will so i mean if you're enjoying the first two issues there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy this one like i said there's nothing annoying or obnoxious in it i think like i said my favorite aspects of the series so far are the kind of like father and son moments which i like to see in the batman stuff and the fact that batman isn't written to be like obnoxious or no possession. It, it, like I said, it has a different feel than the other two main Bat books, and you know that's like addition by subtraction for me. So because those those other two main Batman books, especially the main one by Zdarsky, just has not been up to par uh, as of late. And Detective Comics has its moments, but that storyline with the Orchams has been going on for so long, and it just feels like it's moving at a snail's pace. Here, it's a little bit more exciting, and you know, got Batman and Robin just solving cases and fighting like crazy animal hybrids if you will plus like i said some of the more uh stuff with damien and seeing how he's kind of changing and evolving there's not too much arguing between the two characters right now so i like that aspect to it we're not like endlessly fighting needlessly they're like okay i trust you you do your thing um but i'm going to come up with the reason why you should be going back to school so there you go that's 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 all positives for me is this the best issue of the bunch i don't know is the art the strongest yeah i think so i think the i like the art the most in this particular issue i don't know maybe things just felt a little bit less busy a little bit more clear cut now there are instances where it does make it a little bit trickier to follow at times but i feel like uh Simone's coming into more of his groove as he draws more issues and hopefully like by the end they'll just keep getting better and better so there you go uh not much else to say like i said it's a quick read and uh it continues the story and it's not anything obnoxious or anything like that so that's a plus for me but uh Anyways, if you have any thoughts on this particular issue, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications, all that other fun stuff. And as always, take care now. Bye-bye then. I will see you all in the next video. Got two more comic book reviews coming up. Two, mo two more comic book videos coming up today. And then tomorrow we get one. And then Thursday will hopefully be an after the movie. And then Friday I'll be covering the Monarch series. So a lot of stuff coming this week. And then hopefully Saturday I got something else going on. But we shall see. All right. Well, that's all I have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.